back to The Sims 4 Reality House, the show where our contestants are fighting against each other to win a million simoleons and this house. I can't stop looking at those fireworks. I am so distracted. If you guys haven't seen the previous episodes leading up to this one, definitely go give those a watch because they're gonna give you the rules. We're gonna pick up right where we left off in the last episode, and that was with Holden winning the skill-based competition from last week, hence why he gets the winner's bedroom. And in the last episode, there was a lot of sickness going around. There was some kind of weird bug that Rosa caught and then it expanded to every single contestant. When they wake up, they're gonna have a little surprise by me and I'm gonna give them a gift that they can open that's gonna have some medicine because I don't want anyone to have to go home from being sick. By the way, Holden is the first one up and it looks like he's about to start cleaning. This place is an absolute disaster. We're gonna hire a maid. Actually, someone was saying in the comments that we should hire a butler. Let's hire a butler. The butler needs a bed. They can sleep in one of the older contestants beds maybe or I could build an entire butler suite real quick I'm actually not really familiar with hiring a butler it comes with the sims 4 vintage glamour so let's read it the Windenburg butlering academy has an excellent candidate to join your residence as a live-in butler upon your butler's arrival please assign them a bed to sleep on should you be providing private quarters for your butler you may set door locks for their section of the home I kind of feel like I should build a built-in butler suite hold on I do have a little bit of extra space down down here like across from the storage closet so maybe our butler can have a little house downstairs it's gonna be nothing special I'm gonna build out like a tiny little area for our butler and I'm probably gonna include a bathroom in here it's gonna basically just be like a tiny little hotel room we're gonna treat our butler well I'm gonna get them a great bathtub I really don't have any money restraints at all so I feel like I should go all out we need to treat our service as well I'm going like neutral ish in here because I don't know what the butler looks like I don't know anything about them to be honest there we go I mean it's just a little something for our butler a little place that they can live I've got a little dining space down here oh I definitely need a smoke detector there you go okay so yeah this is gonna be our butler's quarters I hope they like it I'm excited to see who it's gonna be I think a few more of our contestants are waking up so hopefully our butler gets here soon as they are really really hungry what we have planned for today I've set up some ping pong tables and before we do our skill based competition I want to get those relationships up I I think every day before the competitions we're gonna do a little bit of like uh, relationship bonding so we're gonna do a ping pong tournament I think it's gonna be fun I'm excited to see who's gonna win also before they get too into the day I do have a surprise for them I want to give them the medicine package we're gonna buy six of them we're just gonna make sure we've got it in the inventory so that nobody is going to have a disadvantage by being sick <gasps> our butler is here what is your name I feel like I've seen this sim before but I'm not really sure where you are Lenani, you're our new best friend. I need to assign you a bed. Assign bed to Butla. Lenani, enjoy. <laughs> I hope it's a comfortable one. I think it'll be good. Yeah, these are the only two up right now, and they're kind of just like awkwardly staring at each other. I don't think they've got that great of a relationship, honestly. The girls are well rested, so I think I'm gonna wake them up. We have a great competition today, so I want everyone to be well rested. Literally everyone is flirty. I'm intrigued to see how this competition is gonna go today. This is gonna be a weird day. I know it. Oh no, a lie. Wait, what? I hired a mixologist and a caterer as I have been for all of these episodes. And today, <laughs> today's mixologist, we are hosted by the lovely Eliza Pancakes. And honestly, all of our contestants seem to be having a great day so far. I'm gonna try and shake it up a little bit. Let's go and start our relationship bonding experience. Water shut off day, I hope you showered. Let's go get real stanky out here. Ooh, look at the cups. It's kind of like beer pong fun. This comes with the Sims for university. I've actually never seen this in effect. I find it interesting because Harper and Alicia were really close in like the first couple episodes, but today Harper has chosen Holden to be her teammate. And Alicia is back there with Rosa, who honestly, she and Rosa don't have that strong of a relationship. So I'm intrigued to see how that's gonna go. Obviously, Rain and Grayson are our couple that we've all been shipping. I've seen you guys in the comments. Harper doesn't seem to be doing so good, and she's like pretty emotional. And Holden over here like crushing Harper. Rosa is kicking Alicia's butt a little bit. She's got one cup left. Same as Rain kicking
kicking Grayson's butt, only one left there. And then with Holden and Harper, Holden is winning here, but not by much. If you guys have never played beer pong before, basically you're trying to get rid of your cups on the other side. Ooh, oh, we have results. Game goes to Rain Murphy with a score of four. That means Rain beat Grayson four to three. And she's a little flirty after that. He's like, oh crap. Ooh, we've got Rosa beating Alicia. Everyone has gone to the bar immediately after this, by the way. Who is gonna win between Harper and Holden? Look at Grayson over here. I'm pretty sure he ordered one for Rain and Rain went to go get a plate of spaghetti instead. So he just chugged both. Iconic, honestly. A freaking Rain bringing spaghetti to the bar. I'm dead. Go to the bathroom. You just chugged two glasses of wine. No kidding, you have to go. That's actually so funny and so freaking relatable. You guys are falling in love with Rain. I'm also in love with Rain. She's so funny. This game is still going. These two are like really competitive out here. <gasps> Holden wins. I think I'm gonna let them hang out for a little bit, do their thing, see what happens. Wait, look at this. Down below, we have a little bit of drama going on currently. Down below, Rain and Grayson have found a little bit of privacy, honestly. I don't think anyone is down here right now. So currently, Rain and Grayson are like hanging out downstairs alone. But also interesting, Holden and Harper have been hanging out a little bit to the side after the competition with like the ping pong and they're both feeling flirty, obviously. But Alicia is standing over here. Alicia is Harper's like in-game bestie and Holden is Alicia's in-game crush. So this could get spicy a little bit. Let's check back downstairs on these two. It's actually really cute because Rain is like we know an evil sim. She's mean, but with Grayson, they don't ever have an issue. They get along so well. So cute. Look at how she's looking at him. Oh my heart. They are being so flirty. Oh God. Look at Harper. Like she is coming on to him big time. And these two chilling down here, sitting on the couch. I literally can't. My heart is going to explode in a minute. We don't have the heart bar yet, but oh my God. I know that a lot of you guys were worried about the relationship aspect because I've been letting our Sims just do what they want, like with their own free will. But if it gets to the point where like clearly right now, Rain and Grayson are getting along and I swear I haven't done anything to encourage that. But like if the whim pops up, like last time it said she wanted to woohoo in a bush. And I mean, if that's what she wants, I will gladly do it. We do have the heart bar. Yay. What about our other two cuties? I love how Rosa's just like sitting at the end of the table. Like, yeah, okay. She's just like watching this all go down. She knows, she knows the storms are coming. Not the butler sitting down to read. I know you eavesdrop in. I know you listen in there. Rain actually came out here to find Alicia just hanging by herself and Harper's out here now. Oh my God. She started dancing. I cannot wrap my head around this. This is a little bit awkward. Harper is becoming kind of a little bit of an enemy here of Alicia. No, 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 no. He's flirting with her now too. You are trouble, Mr. Holden. You seem to be so nice. The girls had such a strong alliance and I kind of have a feeling it might be falling apart a little bit. Look at him walking with that swagger. What is going on? Oh, she likes it. Oh my God. We have a full blown love triangle up in this house. We have the heart. <gasps> You're bad. You're bad. You're bad. You know what you're doing. I feel like Rain is kind of following. Like Rain and the butler know exactly what's up. I cannot predict what's happening anymore. Is Rain flirting with the butler? I can't deal. Wait a minute. Who's walking up to the house right now? <gasps> is that Nigel? Nigel coming in hot. Nigel was eliminated last round. I just saw him walking up to the house. Are you aware that you were eliminated, sir? Okay, we're just going in. Nigel, Nigel. Okay, Um. apparently Grayson likes fitness. Did you just walk in to also start flirting with the butler. I'm kind of intrigued to see what he's gonna do. I've just been following him around. Tell me you do not go in this dumpster, Nigel. I swear to God. He's knocking on the back door. Wait, he has a gift. Trash boy Nigel is back with a gift? Okay, what is it? Want to see what it is? Yes. Invite in. I'm so intrigued. This is a plot twist and a half. I was just about to introduce the next activity. What's it gonna be, Nigel? What could you possibly be bringing us? No, no, get out of here. He brought us the illness. We've been fine. No one has been sick, Nigel. Oh my God. I'm sending him home right now, immediately. Go away. He's leaving. That was so great. Bye, Nigel. We love you. Anyway. <laughs> oh my gosh. I hope no one gets sick now. I'm going to show you guys freaking competition number three. So down in the basement, we have unlocked competition number three, which is going to be a comedy show. Our competitors are going to come down here. They're going to have about a half an hour to an hour time slot each. I haven't decided what's going to work. 
work the best yet, but it'll be the same time slot for all of them. They're gonna have the mic to themselves, and however many skill points they gain within their time slotted is going to be their skill points for this competition. Whoever gains the least amount of skill points is going to be in the bottom three, and those three will be tested for their relationships to see who will be going home. That is such a mouthful. Anyway, let's get everyone down here. I'm gonna get everyone in here, and I'm gonna lock the door because we're gonna be in here for a hot minute. I hope everyone's all right. No one has to pee. This is becoming some of my favorite part. Look at everyone walking up. This is kind of dictating how the moods will be too. Everyone seems fine. I think everyone had a really good day despite the drama. So as soon as you guys all get in there, I am going to close the door, AKA delete it. We're gonna lock the door for everyone. And what do you think? An hour? It's 7.48 PM in the Sims world. And afterwards we can do the ceremony. And I have six people that have to go. So we're going late. I think to select the order, I'm gonna randomly select so it's fair. We can use a wheel and our wheel can choose the order. Okay, let's spin the wheel and we're gonna see who's gonna go first. We get Holden. I don't know what our audience is gonna think about you today, Holden. You better watch it, boy. So Holden is gonna be first up on the mic. I'm gonna get him up there to tell jokes. Let's start it at eight o'clock. Eight o'clock, tell jokes, get up there. The hour is yours. It's kind of weird too because letting them do their own thing ensures fairness in this competition. So the only thing I'm gonna do is click on tell jokes. Enough times to like get the game going, you know what I mean? Like I want him to actually do it, but if he stops and does something else, like in the yoga competition, then that is fair game. This is him just getting the comedy skill. I do know that some people have it already just from telling jokes and like conversation. Oh my God, look, no one is listening. Rain and freaking Grayson are flirting back here. Guys, guys, pay attention. And what is Alicia doing, girl? Don't do that, like right up on him. Oh my God. Um, I don't know if Alicia is trying to like hurt the competition here or what. There is a stereo on, so like she is dancing for that reason, but it's so funny how she's just like kind of up on him and he's supposed to be doing jokes. Okay, he's got about 15 minutes left. I think an hour is good, an hour is fair. <laughs> Grayson loved that. Grayson is watching his buddy like, yes, get it. Okay, couple more minutes. I think everyone's ready to go after that, after this performance here. We're gonna press pause. Oh my God, I kind of forgot that Harper is jealous. She's a jealous sim. She has a jealous moodlet right now. Oh my God, the plot thickens. All right, you're done. Get off the mic and who's next? Let's go back to the wheel. I'm kind of doing this because as the night goes on, they're gonna get more uncomfortable, I think. So we're gonna spin whoever is last. Kind of has a little bit of a disadvantage. We get Rosa second. Rosa laying low today, kind of just doing her thing. We're gonna get her up on the mic. Let's go and get you to start. Hand it up, hand it up, Holden. Let's go, get off the mic. Rosa, it's your turn to shine. As soon as she starts, I'll start the clock. Move it. Okay, there she goes. And she grabbed the mic. So 9.16, let's go, Rosa. Oh, she's actually moving over. She's like left the stand. Holden didn't really have an opportunity to do that because of Alicia. <laughs> so much chaos. I can't, I can't. I could stop this from happening, but honestly, I'm kind of vibing. I feel like it would hype me up if other people were dancing while I was telling jokes. And it's very interesting how other people are reacting to. Grayson is the only one like, nah, I'm not doing this. And the girls are like, come on, Grayson, let's do this, have some fun. And he's like, absolutely not. No, no way. <laughs> okay, you are done. Stop the mic. Let's go see who's gonna go next. Up next, we are going to have Rain. Rain, get on that mic, tell some jokes. As soon as she picks up the mic, we will start the hour. Rosa, get out of here. Okay, Rain, grab the mic, 1038, let's go. Rain hasn't got any either, so that means when Rosa started, she already had some comedy skill up her sleeve. Rain and Holden so far have just started. Grayson watching very intently. <laughs> Oh, we love a supportive king though. She seems a little bit shy on the mic and I believe she just stopped a little bit early, which is also not good. Did someone pee? Why is she thinking about someone peeing? Okay, Rain, you're done. Let's check who's next. We only have three left. So who's it gonna be? We get Grayson. We love the drama that it's between Harper and Alicia last. 11.50 and start. I wonder how Grayson's gonna do. Grayson already has a little bit of the comedy still going up. So that's good. He also looks a little bit shy. I think Rain and Grayson are both kind 
kind of like a little bit more on the more quiet side. No, Grayson, don't think about sleeping right now. Come on, you can do this. They're all getting a little sleepy. Two hours left, we got this, you can do it. Grayson seems to be kind of tripping up a little bit. Why do they keep hitting themselves? I feel bad, I love Grayson. Okay, your time is almost up. I mean, you did all right, I hope, Grayson. We're gonna get you off the mic. I'm more intrigued to see what's going on between this drama here. We have Harper and Alicia left. Haven't really had the greatest episode between them two. Alicia and then Harper's going last. And Harper, her mood lets, she's not doing too strong here. Okay, we're gonna get Grayson down from there. Alicia, you're up. Tell some jokes. She's just starting with the comedy at 122 AM. This could really come down to if Harper has started the comedy skill or not. As time is going on, Alicia not doing the greatest here. She's got about 20 more minutes. I think I will let them sleep before we do the final ceremony. Just so that they're not all like uncomfortable here. Like they, they need a shower. It was water cutoff day to be fair, but still. Okay, we're gonna pause and Harper, that means that you are up. Okay, Harper, you can do this. She's literally like falling asleep. Go Harper, go, you got this. You're the last one. I know you stink, but we just gotta do an hour and we're good. Everyone's like, come on Harper, let's go. Her hour has started. I hope she makes it through this. I don't know. Everybody is like, let me leave, please. It's really hard to tell like how they're actually doing. Okay, Harper, you are officially done. Let's stop the mic. I'm gonna open the doors and everybody is allowed to leave. Go to bed, do what you gotta do. I'm gonna get them all out of here. I'm gonna count all of the scores and we are gonna reveal in the morning who is going to be in the bottom three. I'm nervous, I don't want anyone to go home. Okay, I just counted up all the results and I need a minute, you guys. Like, I know, <laughs> I know you guys are being connected to these characters, but I am so falling in love with their storylines and everything, this is so hard. And it's also kind of fun filming this too, because like, just like you guys, I have no idea what's going to happen at the end of these things. Like, that's kind of the beauty of watching them do their own thing in a way is like, I also, it's also a surprise to me, you know what I mean? Anyway, once they're ready, we're gonna go downstairs, do the ceremony, and then we'll find out who's going home, I'm not ready. Whoa, that's so weird, a bar appeared in the basement. I'm gonna have them to come down here and do some cocktail hour with their formal wear on. It's actually exciting because I can't really remember like what I put them in. Ooh, let's see who's coming down. Rosa coming down in your PJs. No, 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 no. Rain is angry for some reason. We haven't really seen Rain's angry side yet. I wonder if she feels like she did bad in the competition because she is storming around. Yeah, Rain is just stomping around. What is going on? Why is she going in the closet room. She just went in there for a good little scream. It's fine. Of course they've made it into this freaking room. They're all dancing. I think Grayson is trying to calm down Rain. Look at her. She's like, stop. Oh, I don't know if she's gonna take that well. She's an evil sim, so I think she enjoys kind of being like that. Oh my god, we have trouble in paradise. Just kidding. I think I think he fixed it. I think she was upset for a second and now she's fine. Okay, Grayson just gave her this flower. Their romance. I'll be so sad if one of them goes home, I swear. The flirting is still happening over here. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. It happened, it happened, it happened. It happened. He's so happy. Oh my god, I love them. I think it's time to reveal who's gonna be in the bottom three because I can't contain this information any longer. All right, in the bottom here, out of all of our contestants, we've got Holden. Mr. Flirty Holden, today you're in the bottom. Grayson, who we know is a little bit shy. Grayson is also in the bottom and you guys, I can't even say this, but the final person in the bottom is Rain. I can't handle it. I don't want any of them to go. Okay, it's gonna come down to the relationship points. We're gonna go through it together in a minute. Let's send all of them into the room. The winner of today's competition, and it was very, very close. It was only a couple points. The winner of today's competition, the player who is going to be safe and also wins the winner's bedroom for the night is Harper. I had no idea this shocked me to my core. I thought she was gonna do really bad. Harper is our winner today. She wins the winner's suite. And let's find out who's going to be going home. So I'm gonna turn off Will. Last time I had a little bit of issues getting my Sims to stand on those podiums. Let's see if I can do it today. So I'm gonna turn this off for a sec. The thing is they can't like stand on it. You know what I mean? They can just like stand near it. So I need a different podium. What if I built platforms? Hold on. That is gonna work so much better. I can tell already. Okay. Can we get some appreciation for how I finally was able to get these sims on a podium? 
So these are our bottom three. Unfortunately, this makes me so heartbroken and sad. We're gonna count the relationships to see who's gonna be going home. Harper, yeah, I also need some Kleenex, please. Okay, let's check out Holden's relationships first. Last time I checked the friends tab and we've made a few friends today. We have obviously the love triangle. Alicia and Harper are both in here. They're also in there with the romance. These are the friends that Holden has. Let's check out what friends Rain has. So she's got three left in there. Holden's doing a little better than she is. And then we've got Grayson with only one friend. What? He hasn't made any friends other than Rain in the house? Are you kidding? Oh my god, he really hasn't. Grayson has been keeping to himself so much. Oh my god. I didn't even realize. I don't think we even have to count this, you guys. But I, I want to because I'm so sad. There's literally no way I can even have a fighting chance for Grayson because he's so clearly lost. That's so I'm sorry, but you're gonna be the one going home, my friend. Oh, this makes me really heartbroken. This is the first, like, heartbreak, I think. I'm turning this back on. Otto is going back to full. I'm gonna open the door for them, and I'm gonna allow them to say goodbye. Rain is, like, over here sitting on the couch. They're just hugging it out, saying their goodbyes. She just gave them a rose. I'm really gonna miss them in the house. Like, I'm really upset about this. Uh, I hope they date after. I really want to, like, catch up on these two and see where they're gonna go with this. So before Grayson goes home, I'm pretty sure they're just going to have to have their time to say goodbye and then, Grayson, I'm sorry, it's over for you. Maybe he actually found something better than the one million simoleons. That's what you say when like someone gets eliminated, right? Okay, okay, Grayson, yeah, it's time for you to uh, go and take your selfie. Get yourself on that wall of the departed. He seems okay, he doesn't seem too upset about it. I mean, he's probably pretty happy happy about rain anyway. Grayson, we gotta send you off, buddy. I apologize. It's your time to go. You are gonna be the third one on the wall of the departed. Going out strong, honestly, with that pose. It looks like he's upset leaving, but I think he's actually just like super in love. <laughs> like he's kind of walking like he's got like puppy dog energy the way he was walking. He's gonna be fine. Grayson grew on me. He was a little bit on the more quiet side. To be fair, today's challenge wasn't really meant for him, but you did grow on me and you gained a love interest in your life. I hope you have fun with that. Goodbye, Grayson. We'll see you later. <laughs> Harper is next in the suite. Does need a little bit of a cleaning. I should probably unlock it for the butler. And we are down to five. Only five remain. What are you going to do? Going to talk to Holden. Oh no. That means with Grayson gone, we are left with only five contestants remaining. Really going down to the wire, aren't we? So you guys are gonna have to wait and find out what happens on the next episode episode of The Sims 4 Reality House. If you like the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe so you know when the next episode is up. And that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.